All right, well, hi. So today we're going to talk about solutions. Starting in chapter 8, we're going to talk about solutions. That's what this whole chapter is about. And this is going to be a really short little bit video, a little short lecture, just introducing what solutions are. So like a lot of things, a lot of terms um, that I've introduced, uh, well, like, for example, when we talked about chemical reactions, a chemical reaction is just a homogeneous mixture. Not a homogeneous. Chemical reaction is just a chemical change. So solutions has a sort of a similarly simple definition, which I just said a moment ago, and it's just a homogeneous mixture. Any homogeneous mixture is a solution. OK, so solutions consist of what's called a solvent and one or more solutes. So the solvent is the thing that is doing the dissolving. In other words, or it's the thing that there's more of. So it's the larger component. So when you dissolve salt in water, water is the solvent. And in fact, most of the time, that what we're going to deal with, and most of what you deal with and say in most health fields is water as the solvent. Water is the most common solvent. You see it most of the time. The solute is the other stuff, the things that are present in lesser amounts. So you can have more than one solute. So I could dissolve salt and sugar in water. And sol the solvent would be water. Sugar and salt would both be solutes. So you can have multiple solutes in a solution. Now, this can kind of break down a little bit. So it's generally a guideline. Now, the reason I say it can break down is when we say um, the solvent is what you have more of, well, by mass, by volume, by number of particles, it gets kind of weird sometimes. But generally, if you take a solid and you dissolve it in water and the solution looks like a, sol or it looks like a liquid, then water is the solvent. So most of the time, we're going to think of solutions as mixtures where we have water as the, where we have the water as a solvent. And most of the time, you tend to think of them as a liquid solvent and a solid solute. Um, so it could be any liquid, but that's, I think, what we're used to thinking of as solutions. However, the definition of, of solution is just homogeneous mixture. You can have other situations. You can have, as I said, Salt water, we have a solid and a liquid. Um, alcoholic beverages are uh, liquid in liquid, so that's ethanol in water, right? Um, carbonated water or um, any carbonated beverage is a gas dissolved in water. So, um, and I'm not talking about the bubbles. The bubbles are actually the carbon dioxide that is coming out of solution that isn't there, but dissolved in the water, there's always some gas, there's some oxygen, there's some uh, car um, carbon dioxide. You can have a gold, an alloy where you have melted two solids and mixed them together and let them solidify again. That's uh, a solution. So a, a metal alloy like brass or bronze, those are solutions. Air that we breathe, that's gas in a gas. You have, in that case, I would call, say, uh, nitrogen because it's what's present, the mo what's the most of in the air. I would call nitrogen the solvent and everything else is solutes. But I mean, any other combination is possible. I can, have I can have solid and gas, gas and solid. There's all sorts of things you can do. OK. And I'm going to basically finish up this video just by saying that properties of solutions, I'm going to summarize them by saying here, there. <laughs> uh, you, always have one, you can only have one solvent, but you can have more than one solute. Right? You can have water with salt and uh, sugar. Um, solution have variable compositions like all mixtures. Mixtures always have variable compositions. So you can have, um, you know, I could have one liter of water and I could have 20 grams of sodium chloride or I could have 50 grams of sodium chloride and so the composition is different, right? More salt in the water makes it more you know, salty and changes the density and boiling points and various other things. Um, and so that leads me to this one. The ratio of solute to solvent dictates properties, which we'll, we'll talk about more later on. But I mean, one important one is it's going to change the density. You know, you add more salt, you know, you dissolve more solute, 
you're going to get a more dense solution. Um, one thing that's important to understand is that when you dissolve uh, something, the reason it dissolves is because it's existing as individual particles or individual like molecules mixed in with the water or the solvent molecules. So you get a, um, a mixture kind of down to the molecular level. Now, it's not breaking any bonds, but in other words, in, um, like when you have sugar, one sugar molecule is not in solution hanging out with other sugar molecules. It's hanging out with the water. They're all separated out. Solutes don't settle out. They will remain evenly. So if it's going to settle out over time, it's not a solution. It has to remain stably mixed. And again, because it's a mixture, Solvent and solute can be separated by physical means. That's really all I have to say about solutions as a generality. Um, I'm going to talk about solubility next, but I'm going to start another video for that.